Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny and this is my YouTube channel. If you're returning, so lovely to see you again. In today's video, I'm gonna be trying a few different new food product launches um, that have been launched specifically to help us celebrate the Jubilee. So yeah, I've got a few Jubilee themed foods and drinks, mainly crisps and chocolate, because there really hasn't been that much this year. I might be a little bit early, um, yeah, I fancied filming this video today because I'd seen a few things that I wanted to try. So here we are. If this sounds like the kind of thing that would interest you, please keep watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you don't already subscribe to me, go and hit that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So yeah, like I said, I've mainly got crisps for savory food here. So I'm gonna kick off with those. So I'm kicking off. Um, Tyrrells have, or Tyr I call them Tyrrells, but they have launched a Jubilee edition um, Coronation Chicken flavor, which sound great. So Tyrrells Coronation Chicken, 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 uh, British classic, the perfect choice for celebrating the Queen's Jubilee, combining roast chicken and a subtle kick of curry. They sound good. Um, how I got them from Waitrose. And they two pound thirty, so they're quite spinny. Um, right, let's give them a try. Whew, they smell strong. Do you know what? To be fair, you get a decent amount of crispage in the bag. You can see the like herbs and stuff on them. They're really good. They taste like coronation chicken. They're really salty, but I like things really salty. So, but they're an interesting flavor. Like obviously like the classic flavors that you get in coronation chicken. Chicken. Oh my God, I can't say chicken. In coronation chicken is um, the curry flavor, but then that is complemented with the like sultanas or raisins or whatever you have in them. Um, and to get that, that, that combination of the like curry flavor with the sweetness of the fruit that's in Coronation trick ch oh my God, that's in Coronation Chicken is really coming through with these crisps. So I'm really impressed. Like I think Tyrrells have absolutely smashed getting the flavor of Coronation trick chicken into the crisps yeah really like those i'm gonna give those a four and a half out of five so next up which i should have done first is m&s m&s always smash it m&s have a whole range of different jubilee themed products and they always like put in massive effort obviously i didn't get everything um but for my drink which i would have done first but i forgot is um, they have this sparkling presse, so it's light British strawberry and elderflower, which sounds absolutely sensational, and I'm really excited to try this. So this was £2.40, and I've just got myself a glass with some ice so that I'm enjoying it nice and cold. Cheers. I didn't read it, but it's carbonated spring water drink with British strawberry juice and elderflower infusion with sugar and sweetener. You never really get strawberry juice, do you? Like, you can have strawberry flavored squash, but that is bloody delicious. Oh my God. It's light, it's refreshing. Like, that on a nice summer's day at a street party, celebrating the Jubilee. Like I am here for that every day. Like, oh, I hope they have this like stick around. It doesn't say Jubilee on it. So I'm like, maybe it's like a permanent skew now, but love that. It's absolutely delicious. So refreshing, like exactly what you think it would taste like. Um, love it, five out of five. So we're back to some more crisps and sensations. Well, Walker Sensations have bought out two Jubilee crisp products. So you see the little Walker symbol there. And yeah, the Sensations, you've got baked cheese and honey 
and roast pork and apple. So I'm gonna start with the baked cheese and honey limited edition crisp. So the packaging is so nice, like I love these flowers. It says, first the mouth-watering aroma of baked cheese, then an aromatic burst of rosemary with a, finishing with a smooth blend of sweet honey. I mean, they sound good, so let's give them a try. Ooh. It smells like cat food. <laughs> through walkers that actually smells like cat food like not wet cat food dry cat food oh, makes me feel a bit funny about eating them i mean it must be the baked cheese that smells like that but open mind open mind that is the weirdest crisp i've ever tried in my whole life baked cheese does it mean like a camembert kind of thing i don't really know oh yeah camembert cheese powder it's got in it it should it should be called camembert and honey i think that would sound much better than baked cheese i really can't tell whether i like them or not like i keep eating them I think they're growing on me. It's not my favourite. It's definitely not as good as the Tyrrell's Coronation Chicken, but there is something about this that is very Moorish, but I'm also, like, not 100% convinced. Like, that they're very smelly. <laughs> but I love camembert. And I guess you, I do get, like, the slight taste of camembert and that baked cheesiness and... The sweetness of the honey like it's okay it's not terrible it's not bad it's not even bad like it's kind of nice but it's not amazing so i think i'll go down the average two and a half for that one let's see and i think it will be if the roast pork and apple is better because yeah it definitely will be like roast pork and apple a classic combo First, the smoky aroma of spit roast pork. Ooh. Then a taste of sweet and tangy apple sauce. Lovely. Oh my God, they smell sensational. No cat food here. Wow. Oh my God, I'm so excited for these ones. Kind of smells like prawn cocktail, you know. Mmm. can't stop shoveling them in they're really nice like really good you definitely get kind of like a almost bacony flavor like you would with a smoky bacon crisp and then a sweetness comes through is it identifiable as apple i don't know but it's a really tasty crisp like really nice um much better than the baked cheese and honey i can't tell if i like it better than the tyrrells i'm gonna try another one of those again Like, Tyrrells have absolutely smashed landing the coronation chicken flavour. Like, I think you could try that crisp and be like coronation chicken. I'm not convinced you would try this and say it's roast pork and apple, but it's a really good crisp nonetheless. And like, when you know, you're like, oh yeah, I can see that. But these are so identifiable. Um, but these are nice. So I, I gave those four and a half. That was a two and a half. So I'm going to give these, I'll give the sensations a three and a half. Um, the sensations were £1.25, by the way. Both both of the packets cost the same. And I got them from Tesco. So we are now moving on to sweet things. And I'm really excited to eat a load of chocolate. So I went back to M&S and picked up these Jubilee Connie, the caterpillars. I'm assuming they're going to taste exactly the same as like what these little ones are normally like. They're just have little crowns on they're so cute but um, i'll show you it properly when i take it out but these are chocolate mini rolls chocolate sponge rolls filled with chocolate buttercream smothered in milk chocolate and covered with sprinkles how fun i can't remember how much these were i remember there was a big one that was expensive but i can't remember how much these are sorry anyway 
How cute with the little crown. Oh. I mean, it's a chocolate roll. So, they're chocolate rolls. You can't go wrong with them. But what I will say about these, they're much more about the look because that, there's no flavour innovation in that to make it a special flavour. It's like not like they've put like gold leaf in it or added like ro or I don't know, like or like added some like special flavour to make it yeah innovative innovative for the jubilee. It's more about the look and the fact that if you're like putting on a spread, they look nice and novel, like sitting there with their crowns on. Um, so that's it. It's, it. They're all about the look. They taste great. They're chocolate. They're chocolate logs. They're mini chocolate logs, like um, or chocolate filled spring sponge rolls. But um, and they taste great. But it's nothing new apart from the way it looks. So um, I would get. I would say, like in terms of like jubilee flavors, like doesn't score very highly. But for a chocolate log, it's like a three and a half. Like you can't really go wrong, can you? But then we move on to M&S bought out this Right Royal Yum Nut. Oh my god. I'm so obsessed with donuts. Like, I'm so excited to try this. So this feels like it might be a little bit more innovative in the flavours. Um, so this is a Right Royal Yum Nut. It's a layered donut with sugar glaze topped with cherry flavoured fondant and edible decorations. Yum. I think this was a pound. This was on the M&S bakery section. Oh. Oh my, oh. so I think it's like meant to be like a yum yum almost. But. <laughs> oh my God, that icing. The texture is almost like, almost like a croissant, like a croissant donut. But then I guess it's like a yum yum. It is delicious. Like the if you like cherry, the cherry flavor is so sweet and so cherry like and so so yum nut. Oh my god, that is so good. Oh my god, that yum nut was everything, everything. I love like donuts. Oh my god, and that was so delicious. Like texture wise, it was like soft and flaky with like that sugar coating. And then the topping, the cherry like fondant or whatever it was on it was so smooth and so sharp, but so sweet and delicious. And then the crunchies on top just added like another bit of texture that you just want, like it was honestly sensational like I could eat another one immediately and I would suggest everyone goes and gets one before they're not here anymore because that was bloody delicious oh my god I that that's like five six seven out of five like all of the above and that is the end of this video guys I really hope you enjoyed it I tried some really good food here um I would say the Tyrrell's coronation chicken uh, crisps were a highlight as was that donut yum nut whatever it was called sensational but yeah are there any jubilee foods that you've seen that you think are really good that i haven't tried let me know what they are in the comments below and um, but yeah if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you don't subscribe to me go and hit that subscribe button because it will really support the growth of my channel but yeah i will see you next time bye